Hi everyone. It's been a long day at work for me today, but um, I'm ready to relax and do some painting, so please join me. Today is day 15, so we're halfway through our 30 days 30 pores challenge, and today's topic is underpainting. Underpainting has been used in oil painting uh, for a really, really long time. I have never really painted in oil, so I can't say that I know that much about it, but I know that by toning the background, you can give your picture a kind of warmer or cooler tint and I think that a lot of women who wear makeup might understand the idea of colour correction and what happens when you put orange or lilac or green under your foundation because you can correct your skin tone and make it seem more even which I have not done today <laughs> um, but I think that you can hide colours under each other and they will affect the colour that goes on top. I've been thinking about this all day and I've decided what I want to do is to split a canvas into three and do the same colour pour over that and with each of the three colours I'll use a different background colour. Now I'm not going to use traditional uh, primary colours, I'm actually going to use these because there is an argument that these are primary colours and that magenta is a primary colour because you can't really mix magenta with the traditional colour. Uh, scheme whereas apparently you can mix red with this. I don't really know much about this I just found out about it last week. But I thought it was really really interesting So I want to try and use this color palette as my primaries and see see what happens uh, I also think that These colors with a variety of a mixture of these colors on top will look far better than primary colors which tend to be um, Well, it's quite easy to get brown uh, and purple doesn't look really great when it's mixed with primary red and primary blue most of the time. Um, so I'm more interested in, in trying these out. Now these are those uh, those paints that I really like. These are water-based Alkyd Resin Colours by Ksakube. They're called Aquila and they are available in the West. I really like these. They mix really smoothly. Just want to give you a little update. This is my black iridescent pour. The, um, the mica from Malaysia kind of dried a bit crusty, so I think I need to work out how to put that into a binder or mill it a bit more or something, but I'm really pleased with the other colours on it. It's nice to see the colours come out on top of black. And on the white here, there is some iridescence, but I don't think the camera's going to pick much of it up. You can see a little bit of blue, purple, there's a touch of red on there. It definitely is a lot more subtle on the white. But anyway, as a set, like this, which is how I poured them, I quite like them. Uh, I think it was fun and it's an interesting small piece for me. Today's Paint It Forward 2019 shout out goes to Dirty Artist. I think she's based in Australia. She does lots of really interesting work and experiments. Um, I was watching one of her reviews earlier. I feel that anybody who takes the time to review products and share it or to do experiments and to share their findings with the community is really bringing something very, very valuable to all of us. Her work is really, really beautiful and um, she's got some really informative videos on her channel as well. Please take a moment to check it out and subscribe. I'll put a link down below to Dirty Artist's channel and uh, yeah, hi from Tokyo. And thank you for helping me on forums and just generally being friendly and welcoming. Okay, let's get on with the painting then. So what I think I'm going to do is to try each of those three primary colours or variations of primary colour and then make secondary colours. So using green, purple and orange with a 50-50 mix. So actually it's going to be the same kinds of colours that are on the background but um, hopefully I can mix them a little bit more accurately in a cup. I'm also going to use mixing white. I'm going to adjust the green and the purple slightly. I'm going to put a little bit more magenta in here and a little bit more yellow in here. 
Right, that's the last of the um, little bottle of Floetrol that I had. I've put about a tablespoon in each cup. And this is my pouring media. Pink, cobalt light blue, monoazo yellow lemon, mixing white here, Mars black here, and these are the yellow and blue, the yellow and magenta and the um, magenta and blue together here. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are all Aquila water-based alkin resin colors. This one is deep violet because I felt like this purple was just not really doing it for me. These two are regular acrylics. They're mixed with a tiny bit of Floetrol, which is just whatever I had left. It was a drizzle, as you saw. This is Liquitex Basics Thalo Cyanine Green with 50% or so pouring medium. And this is from Sostrena Greener. Uh, this is Thalo Blue. So I'm using these colors because they're transparent. All of these resins seem to be fairly transparent. I'm hoping is that when these dry down you'll be able to see the underpainting and there'll be lots of you'll see color shifts as one color moves across this different color background let's see let's see what I can do with this oh so much phthalo blue okay that is totally taking over what a shame well, looking at the cup, it looks like it came out fairly cleanly. I should have put far less phthalo blue in. Oh, that's funny what it's done there. Um, I had no idea that that was going to take over like that, but you live and learn. I put all those colours in and it's the green that's taken over. Now the tilting on this is obviously quite horrible. Yeah, it's all stretched out and I've lost the rings and the definition's gone and everything. Uh, but I'm interested to see how does this dry down? What colours start to show through from underneath? And um, how does it look different across those different colours that I had before? I can see little ribbons of uh, rainbows and it's quite interesting. I can see purple, blue and green here. I can see pink and yellow, orange. I can see all the colours but the green is just totally dominated. Apart from this quite visible purple blue streak here, Wow, I really did not think that would happen, but um, there you go, there's some colour magic for you. If this is your favourite shade of green, you're in luck. I just want to show you, uh, I'm going to... Oh, this is interesting, okay. Okay, let's talk to you a little bit about it. Wow. cells are not round which is quite unusual but if you look at the reflection you can see the paint has not been scorched or curdled this is something that's happening within the uh, resin the water-based resin surface of the paint you can see the different colors here but why is it so green this is where I can see I can see some small kind of hint 
lots of rainbows in this area. I've realised that this is the phthalo cyanine green and it's because I just did too much and I chucked everything in which I always do. I am going to re-pour this while it's still wet with just the resin colours. Oh god this has got pink everywhere. <laughs> it looks like unicorn vomit now. This, uh, this uh, kind of pouring form appeals to the very best and worst of my chuck it all in mentality. Anyway, let's, um, let's do this again. And look at the horrible colors this is going on. It's all green again. What? One's green as well, isn't it? <laughs> oh, frog vomit. Right, I pretty much hate it. I think I need to tip some of this paint off because there is so much on there. Right, well, I'm gonna paint over this <laughs> tomorrow, I guess, <laughs> or, or in a couple of days. It's horrible, really don't like it. There we go, that's what happens when I do experiments. Bye everyone. <laughs> Tomorrow's pour is an exciting one. It's a really free choice and the theme is something new. Um, so we're all supposed to try something that we've never tried before. You can try a new additive, a new tool, a new kind of canvas, a new kind of paint or a new combination or recipe. Whatever you like, depending on how adventurous or otherwise you're feeling. Uh, my idea is in the post <laughs> so I might have to do that for my day 28 my redo because um, it's in transit but the material that I wanted to use has not arrived yet but but um, I will hunt around and see what I've got that I haven't tried yet because I'm always picking up bits and pieces so I'm sure I'll come up with something Please remember that if you want to join us, all you need to do is use the hashtag 30 days 30 pause when you upload your work to social media. You'll be able to keep up to date with our progress by typing in that hashtag and searching for it on whatever platform you're using. If you're enjoying my videos, then please take a moment to hit that like button and consider subscribing. My Instagram is Tokyo Makes. As always, I'd like to say a great big thank you to everybody who's taken time to watch this video. Please do remember to check out Dirty Artist's channel for Paint It Forward 2019. And if you've got a YouTube channel, why don't you tag somebody? Let's lift up the community together and extend our knowledge. Thanks so much for sharing your work and uh, for taking time to watch this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.